interviews uh, and, and certainly opportunities for travel. Uh, the bottom line is uh, 2019 has, has just been an incredible year. I mean, it's it's so good. I, I, I kind of feel like I've kind of been spoiled. I don't know how 2020 can ever top uh, what was already an incredible year this year. Uh, but honestly, if 2020 is half as good, if, if 2020 is an eighth as good as uh, 2019 has been, I think we're in for an incredible year. Uh, I'll be in Toronto in a few weeks to see a couple other Bond friends and then go to a concert. But also, we've got the movie, finally, this year. Uh, no Time to Die will be out in a matter of weeks at this point. Uh, yours truly, I'm, I, I already got plane tickets. I'm going to London, a couple of European cities. I mean, it's going to be absolutely incredible to go to premieres, uh, events, see my friends in the Bond community. So, yeah, I, I think we're in for just an incredible year. I wouldn't count on that. The hell is, who the hell is in my kitchen? Uh, hey, where's all the good breakfast blend? Yeah, who are you and why are you in my kitchen? Oh, well, I'm you from the future. Oh, holy shit. Wow. We, we only wear pajamas in the future? Oh, yeah, that's, well, that's, uh, that's what, we're, we're doing a beard? Huh? Oh, yeah, that's kind of the thing to do these days. What do you think? Oh, it's fine. I just don't like it all Grizzly Adams right now. No, 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 I wouldn't. Oh, wait, wait, how are you here from the future? Well, uh, 2020 just does nothing but get crazier and crazier, so apparently there's some rip in the space-time continuum, and now I'm kind of all over the place. Huh. Time travel. Wow. So, like, when in the future are we talking? Uh, I'm from August 2020. So is 2020 every bit as awesome as I think it's going to be? Actually, you know what, don't tell me, I want to, I want to be surprised. Uh, but, how was it? How was what? Bond 25, no time to oh, die. Oh, right, yeah, the, the movie, yeah. Well, I don't quite know how to tell you this. Well? Well, the movie gets postponed again. Postponed? How could it get postponed? It's been postponed multiple times already. It's coming out in a matter of weeks. And you know that virus people are starting to talk about? Yeah. Well, it gets worse. We're pretty much all uh, on lockdown now. We're kind of in self-quarantine. Who? The whole world. Huh. Well, I mean, how serious are we talking? I heard it was comparable to a bad flu. I heard it was... Eh, just, just don't. It, it doesn't go over well, trust me. Oh, dear God, you have to be kidding. Wait a minute, I, I've got plane tickets. There were so many events. I was going to see so many people. Oh, we, we, we got to do a reaction video. Yeah, we did, but it's it, it's tricky. You know, if you if you grumble too much, if you're a little too upset about the movie, people think you don't care about the virus and you're not taking it seriously. People get upset, so yeah, just best to leave it alone. Well, so how long are we talking? A couple of weeks? Eight months. Eight? Months! Oh, good lord, you gotta be joking! Oh. Well, that's the strategy. I mean, we're all just gonna stay home until the whole thing goes away. Uh, so there's definitely no movies being released. Oh. So, now what? Now nothing. Just chill out and wait for November. Um, sign up for Netflix. Uh, definitely get Amazon Prime. Uh, hit the grocery store, stock up on some food. Uh, definitely a couple bottles of wine. Um, oh, stock up on toilet paper, that's big. Wait, toilet paper? What does this disease make you blow out your colon? You know what, this is a nightmare. I can't, I can't, I don't want to hear any more of this. Come on, man. It's all gonna happen. It's just gonna happen in November. I wouldn't count on that. Where's all the good breakfast blend? Holy shit. Who the hell are you? Huh? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm you from the future. Holy shit. Holy shit! Who the hell are you? I'm you from the future. Wow. So in the future we're all living in the woods and working on our manifestos? I, I, all right, I, I give up. How far into the future are we talking? Uh, me, I'm from November of uh, 2020. Wow. Well, how was the movie? Uh, oh yeah, the movie. Uh, well, I hate to tell you this, buddy, but uh, it gets postponed yet again. You're looking at now uh, April of 2021. Oh, you're kidding. 
kidding. Oh, you're kidding. What the hell? Oh, Christ. This is insane. We, we, we got to do a reaction video. And say what? I mean, look, I get it. It's frustrating. It sucks, right? I mean, if the filmmakers put out a movie in a reasonable amount of time, we wouldn't be in this fix. All they had to do was turn in their homework on time. But it is what it is. You gotta make peace with it. You're gonna see the movie. You'll just see it when you see it. In the meantime, just go enjoy the rich history of James Bond. You got 24 films to look back on and discuss and critique and talk about. You got all the Fleming novels. You got a book club going on, right? You got subsequent books. You got Horowitz, you got Raymond Benson, etc. You got video games, you got trivia, you got comics and graphic novels. Look. There's a lot of stuff to play with, so have fun. They can't take away what's already there. And by the way, why are you so laser focused on this movie anyway? Didn't you start a channel called Being James Bond? Yeah. And wasn't the whole point of that channel to talk about the activities of James Bond, the things that Bond does that makes life really worth living, the travel, the cocktails, the skiing, the golf, the gambling, etc. And instead of that, you became a film critic, and now you're shaped like one. Well, yeah, but you don't know how many views I get on those videos. You know how many views the Octopussy Review got? And is that what this was all about? Clicks? That little shot of dopamine when everybody likes one of your videos or comments about how smart and how clever it was? No, it was about the things that gave you passion, the things that made life exciting, the James Bond things that you would do and have fun with. And you wanted to be part of a larger community, right? A larger Bond community? Mission accomplished. You've got friends through James Bond all over the world. You can go to an event and you got friends that you haven't even met yet. What's better than that? So what do we do? Finish the book already. Get out and do some stuff. Shed a couple pounds, right? Go play a little golf, do a little skiing. Remind people that doing the stuff that James Bond does makes life a little more exciting. Remind people that the reason we want to be like James Bond is because the man knows how to live. Doing some of that great Bond stuff makes life a little more exciting. What if we lose viewers? If you lose viewers, so be it. You can still do the movie videos. You can do reviews, you can do commentaries, you can do the ranking videos. But maybe, just maybe, people will respond to it and you'll be doing better than ever. And before you know it, just when you least expect it, No Time to Die will be something we talk about in the past tense. Well, what do we do now? Look, no matter how you look at it, it just doesn't make sense. He puts all that time, effort, and even props into explaining the whole plan to the gangsters just to bump them all off anyway. Yeah, well, if you think that's bad, why does he go to the trouble to take Mr. Solo all the way to the junkyard to crush the car when he was only going to bump off all the gangsters anyway? Actually, yeah. Yeah. What the hell? I guess I just always assumed that Solitaire put it in there so that James Bond would come and rescue her. Yeah, but then why does she act so surprised when Bond shows up? Why does she resist his charms? Why does Bond have to do the, the trick with the lover's cards? Well, then it had to be Rosie Carver. I mean, she was a double agent. Yeah, but then why would she just drop it in James Bond's lap? It doesn't make any sense. You're wrong. I'm not wrong. A Beautiful Kill is terrible. A Beautiful Kill is awesome. Look, if Casino Royale from Russia with Love, Honor, Majesties, if these are the best Bond films, A Beautiful Kill is the polar opposite. Look, Roger Moore has never been more charming, the score is fantastic, the action is great, and it doesn't take itself too seriously. <sighs> well, happy f***ing New Year! Sounds like 2020 is not going to be the banner year I was hoping for. Wow. Uh, that was a lot to swallow. Uh, I don't know what else to say except, uh, well, two things. I guess I've got my marching orders. I know what I'll be working on in the next few months to try to keep being James Bond moving in the right direction. Uh, the only other thing I can think to say is, sounds like 2020 is going to be a complete dumpster fire as far as Bond 25 is concerned and pretty god-awful on a more human level as well. But I know if anybody can make the best of a bad situation, it's the Bond community. So I know we will rally and get through this year together.
And I hope your 2021 is about as amazing as 2020 is going to be miserable. So again, have the best 2021 you can possibly have from your good buddy head of section. Uh, in the meantime, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with these guys. I do hope that wasn't for me. <laughs> but that is. I mean, it's just not possible. Q plugs in the laptop at the exact moment that M is at the hearing. Then it's one convenient coincidence after another until the exact moment that Bond shows up, Silva's going to drop a train on him, even at the exact moment in the conversation. Look, I've got two words for you. Contingency plans. If Silva had to zig instead of zag, he had other traps all over London to get no, him to wherever no, he needed no to be. Way. Look, you're reaching. You're really reaching. The whole plot is foiled because Bond shows up and shoots a couple of fire extinguishers? The man you're talking to now is Ernst Stafford Blofeld. Catch your name. This can't get any worse. Uh, where's all the good breakfast blend? Meeting you with a view to a kill Face to face in secret places Feel the chill Nightfall covers me But you know the plans I'm making Still oversee Could it be the whole earth opening wide? 